I have a big problem. Every Minecraft world is defined and shaped by the imagination and skill of the player sculpting it. This often comes in the form of impressive, difficult builds that take hundreds of hours to complete. But it doesn't matter how good you are at building if you don't have the materials you need. So in this video, I'm going to fix this problem by building 22 of the most powerful farms in Minecraft. But first, I need to kill the Ender Dragon. Okay, now that I'm all done with that, I'm gonna go get a couple of elytras. Dude, look at this thing, it's tiny. That was kind of a waste of time. Oh my god, two end ships right next to each other. This is the luckiest I've ever been in this game. So I know I said I was only gonna get two, but... Now, for the first farm of this video, I decided I'm gonna fix a long-standing problem of mine, which is food. I decided to go with the Hoglin farm designed by Mortings, which will give me infinite pork chops and leather. This farm works by using warped fungus to scare the Hoglins into fire, resulting in infinite food. First, I just need to grab a couple of things. Okay, that should do it for the iron. Just need a couple of these, some of these. All right, I think that's everything. Now that I've got every item I need, we can go ahead and build the farm. Now that we're up on the nether roof, we need to go ahead and find a crimson forest biome. Now that we're here, let's get to building. And that should be it. Oh, this is more food than I am ever going to need. Next, I'm going to build what is probably the most common farm in Minecraft history. One that many of you have probably built in your own world. I'm of course talking about an iron farm. This iron farm is absolutely ginormous, so I'm going to need a ton of materials to build it. Alright, that should totally be enough. Let me go ahead and grab a couple of name tags, hoppers. Alright, it kind of took a while to get everything I needed, but I think I'm ready. If you've ever built an iron farm, you know that the hardest part of it is not building the farm, but putting villagers where they need to be. Alright, I'm going to use this minecart furnace to uh, push the- dude. Get off! It only took me about 10 seconds to realize that this farm was going to be a lot harder than I originally thought.
All right, I just got done with the platform. Now I need to finish building a couple of the villager cells. Now, it was around this point that I had to start working on putting the villagers where they needed to be. And let me tell you, this was not fun. Uh... Oh, no, that's not what's supposed to happen. Just get in the hole. You have got to be... Villagers are so awful, dude. At this point, I had been at it for about 40 Minecraft days and I was starting to go insane, but there was a light at the end of the tunnel. There was only five villagers left and I figured I could crank them out in about 30 minutes. Okay, this shouldn't be that bad. Dude, where did you come from? Dude, no! Obviously, I was um, completely wrong. But, uh, you know, then this happened, and things got even worse. Dude, there's no way. I decided to take a quick break from villagers, and instead started focusing on getting the zombies in the spots where they needed to be. After finishing the zombies, I worked my way through the villagers until there was only one remaining. Okay, this is the last one. So far, so good. Okay, boom. That is the farm all done. Okay, so I AFK'd the farm overnight, and I got... Nice. Wow, okay. I am never gonna have to mine for iron again. One of the most important resources in Minecraft is actually one that you obtain within minutes of starting your world. This farm utilizes TNT dupers to produce hundreds of thousands of cobblestone per hour. And the best part? It's completely automatic. Alright, so I am finished getting all the materials and I'm just gonna build this thing. Okay, I'm finished with the whole, like, cobblestone generator base thing, so now I can build the TNT duper. Okay, so the farm should now be done. I am really nervous though, because if I did something wrong, this entire thing is going to blow up. Okay, I am going to go ahead and flick the lever. Um, it looks good. I mean, it looks like nothing has blown up yet. So I went AFK for about 20-ish minutes, and this is how much cobblestone I got. Almost all these chests are completely filled up. Sheep and sugarcane farms are both very different from each other, but they do have one thing in common. They're really, really simple to build. So I decided to make things a little bit more interesting. I'm gonna make two buildings to make these two boring farms into something beautiful. Ooh, 
nice. Okay, this is exactly what I was looking for. I think this is probably the coolest cherry grove biome I could have found. My idea is to build like some Japanese style buildings over the farms, which, you know, has totally never been done before. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to work on the little collection system. Okay, so I'm now uh, completely done with the collection system. I'm going to start putting these guys in their holes. What is wrong with you? Alright, next one up. Let's go. Okay, that's done. Now I get to build a, a sugar cane farm. Alright, well, uh, this first one is now done, and it only took me about five-ish hours, which is actually a lot less time than I was expecting. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and build the other one, which I think I have a better plan for. All right, well, that's the second building done. Now I'm gonna do some landscaping stuff to hopefully tie everything together a bit more. Hey, that is everything. I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. I think I did, I think I did a pretty good job. The next farm I'm gonna make is one that actually just recently became possible in 1.18. This scaffolding-based shulker farm works something like this. Snow golems attack the shulker. This makes the shulker angry and it fires a bullet. But instead of hitting the snow golems, the shulker hits itself and it duplicates. The shulker then teleports to the top and is killed by entity cramming. This farm needs a lot of scaffolding, so I'm gonna kill as many spiders as possible to get the string I need. Alright, I got everything I need. There are two parts to building this farm. First is the main structure, which is probably the most resource intensive part of the farm. And then the second part is arguably the most difficult, which is getting a shulker into the spot where it needs to be. But who knows, maybe it won't even be that bad. I made a ginormous mistake while building this farm. 
So what happened right here is the shulker teleported to the top. Normally, this would be completely okay. But unfortunately for me, I built the farm wrong. I forgot to place down one little minecart, and because of that, I spent several hours trying to put shulkers in the farm, not realizing all I had to do was place down one thing. I eventually got it fixed, but that's two hours of my life I'm never getting back. But I'd say it was definitely worth it, as I was reaping the rewards a couple hours later. Next up, a slime farm. Before 1.18, any mob could spawn in light levels below 7, but a change was made in 1.18 that made it so only slimes could spawn in light levels below 7, making this insanely fast farm possible. Alright, the farm is completely done. And after a short AFK test, I came back with some crazy profits. The next farm's a gunpowder farm, and I don't really want to bore you with the details, so here's the build. After only a quick 30 minute AFK session, these were the profits. I have literally never had this much gunpowder in my entire life. This next farm is one of the most powerful in Minecraft, producing over 125,000 items per hour. ENXO4's Raid Farm. Since I needed to fight the Wither for this farm, I decided to do a raid, just to be safe. The first couple waves were actually, like, really, really easy. They were so easy that I was starting to get a little bit overconfident. You know what, this honestly isn't even that bad. Okay, I definitely need to be safer. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea, now that I think about it. Okay, 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 I, I shouldn't have done that. That was a bad idea, I understand. Haha, <laughs> I bet you can't climb this hill. You bit oh not even close. Not even close. Wither skeleton hunting is probably my least favorite thing to do in this entire game. Uh what are you doing here? Sing 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 three two one That was not anywhere near as hard as I thought it was going to be. Now let's get the rest of the stuff for the farm. Next up, villagers. Now I know earlier in the video I said I hate these guys, but this actually shouldn't be too hard since there's a couple of villages nearby I can take them from. You will never see your family again. Now the villagers are done, there's only one thing left to do. I thought I was ready to start the farm, but it turns out I made another huge mistake. 
I've got to get sweeping inch three of my sword. Uh, I don't even know if I need it, but I'm going to put netherite on the sword just in case. Boom, got a really nice netherite sword. And since it's so special, oh, I don't have enough levels. Now it's time to run the farm. To mix things up a bit, I'm going to try a little challenge. For the next 12 hours, I'm going to try and build as many farms as I can. I kind of have a rough plan, and it starts out with a wood farm. No! And I'm gonna get it! Well, I got the farm done. There were no more creeper incidents, which is always nice. I should probably be doing something better with my time, but this farm is just so fun to run. Actually, maybe I do have a little bit of time. Well, you know what? Maybe this was worth it. The next farm is a sand duper, which will provide me with infinite gravity blocks. All right, I need to mine out a big hole. Uh, big holes are my favorite. All right, now we do this. Look at that. The pistons look weird. All right, now I've got to make this little gizmo. All right, now we flick this lever. Boom. Bedrock broken. Now I've just got to do that 30 more times. Everything should be done, so I'm going to AFK for like an hour and see how much sand I get. I'm hoping this storage is big enough, because if it's not, then uh... Yeah, that... That's a lot of sand. Next farm is a super smelter, and I've got no time to waste. I need to just real quickly grab a bunch of gold. Oh my god! Alright, I've got everything I need. I'm gonna build the farm as quick as possible. I mean, honestly, that's not the worst that challenge could have gone, but it definitely could have been a lot better. Honestly, three farms is just pitiful. Okay, the farm is finally done, and it actually took me a lot less time than I thought it was going to. Now, I bet you guys are probably wondering, Vpex, how are you going to power the farm? You don't have any coal. Well, uh, you're right. How am I going to power this thing? Oh, wait, that's right. Carpet dupers. To be more specific, a wall of carpet dupers. I promise this is just a temporary solution. I know duping is frowned upon in some areas of the community. And for the most part, I agree. But this is needed. I promise. I also really don't want to mine for coal. Remember that tree farm I built a couple of minutes ago? Well, it requires a lot of bone meal. So I decided to build a small little bone meal farm to power this tree farm, as well as another dye farm. All right, I think that should be it. I may have to work out a few small problems, but other than that, everything's finished. And this thing is fast. This is awesome. For my next farm, I must go on a top secret mission to the Arctic. Here's the plan. For phase one of the plan, I need to take out three high-value targets at the monument. They're heavily armed, and it will not be easy. For phase two, I need to prepare the fortress for farming. 
I'll need to use invisibility potions to stay undetected by the guards. And finally, phase three. Build the farm and enjoy the profits of the mission. We have no time to waste. So while building the obsidian farm, I kind of had a bit of an issue. My recording corrupted. So here's a dramatic reenactment of what happened. Essentially, I just jumped into the end, built the farm, and got an insane amount of obsidian. To make up for losing the recording, I decided to build one of the fastest magma farms ever made. This farm produces over 70,000 magma per hour, so I'll have all the items I need in no time. Now it's time to build the farm. As you guys can probably hear, the farm is done. And a little bit under two hours later, I have all the magma I need for the gold farm. Speaking of that gold farm... So, there was supposed to be a cool transition there, but um, I forgot I'm supposed to make a frog light farm. Uh, let me do that real quick. Okay, I need you guys to cooperate. Please. Yeah, should we just pull them all through, I think? Yeah, okay. Okay, I think that's the last of this color of frog. Now I've just got to do this two more times. <sighs> okay, I made a little staircase thing to get them up here. Hopefully none of them fall off. Oh, no. Okay, I've just got to walk very, very slowly. Okay, now I've just got to get all these guys before they jump off. Okay, I should be able to just jump in the farm here and they all come down. Nice, okay. That is the green frogs done. I can get out of here. First try.
Okay, now I jump in again and it should start spilling in. Yeah, okay, white one's done. And if you're wondering where the orange ones are, well, I don't actually have them yet. But now I do! Wow, where did you guys come from? Okay, now they're trickling in and I need to get out of here. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Please let me out. Uh, that could have been a disaster. Okay, now that that's out of the way, we can finally build the gold farm. In total, I needed to gather about 15,000 items. And now you guys get to watch me build the farm. And now we're gonna build a farm that produces almost 1 million items per hour. But first, I just need a couple of material. This next farm is so simple, I'm just gonna do something like this. Wasn't that cool? Wasn't that cool, guys? For the next step, I need to get 128 piglins in a three block wide room. In order to do this, I'm going to use ENXO4's Piglin Spawning Farm. Now all I should need to do is tower up in AFK for about 30 minutes. Now that we're done AFKing, there are 128 piglins in this little box. This super simple design is going to get us almost a million items per hour. But first, I need to build a collection system big enough to hold that many items. This final farm marks the end of a journey for me. Over 1000 days ago, I started this world not trying to have just any other hardcore world. I wanted to push myself to do things that I never even thought were possible. In today's journey, I conquered the land, sea, and sky, as well as the highest mountains and deepest oceans. And through it all, what I've come to learn is that I am ready for any challenge this world has to throw at me, no matter how daunting. Huge shout out to JF Kidding for being a huge help during the editing and creative process of this video. His channel will be linked down below. Make sure to go check out his stuff. Well, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. This video took me a really, really long time to make. So I would really appreciate it if you could show some support. I'm working really hard to improve my editing skills and my actual in-game play to make the most entertaining possible videos for you guys. I hope everyone watching this has a great day. Bye.